Hey, Buns. Do you have any burning questions about a Final Fantasy XIV? Questions that nobody can answer for you except perhaps the one and only producer, director, Naoki Yoshida? Well, if so, you are in luck because we are going into the question submission period for Digital Fan Fest. So you will only be able to submit questions for the live Q&A that's coming up and will be happening during Digital Fan Fest from Thursday, April 22nd, which is gone, which is passed, and Thursday, April 29th, which is next week. You have only this small window of opportunity to submit your question that maybe, possibly, Naoki Yoshida will read and answer. So like I said, this is happening at the Digital Fan Fest 2021 that is completely free to watch. You don't have to buy a ticket. Anybody can watch this and take part in this. It's happening Friday, May 14th and Saturday, May 15th. For more information about it, I'll put a link to the Digital Fan Fest website in the description box down below. Um, but I want to go over all this information about the upcoming live Q&A because I know that not every single person is reading the lodestone constantly and you might miss this very short window of opportunity to submit your question. So the requirements are that yes, you must possess an active Final Fantasy 14 account to submit a question. Makes sense, <laughs> I can't have someone who doesn't even play asking a question. You must be able to participate in the live event, which will take place on Saturday, May 15th between 10.30 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. at PDT and be able to use Zoom software. Um, so 10.30 p.m. PDT, if you're in Europe, that is 5.30 in the morning GMT. So yeah, you're gonna be up bright and early having this like a fever dream conversation with Yoshida. Like I said, you will only be able to submit a question from now until Thursday, April 29th at 7.59 a.m. PDT. That's the cutoff time. And I think for GMT, that's 2.59 in the afternoon. As for the event that you must be able to take part in should your question be accepted, that's happening on Saturday, May 15th from 10.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. PDT. Like I said before, very early in the morning for Europe. And the live Q&A will include a live interpretation from Japanese to English, so now you don't have to translate your own question <laughs> into Japanese. There's a possibility that the start of the live Q&A event will be delayed, depending on the status of the preceding events, so it might not start exactly on time. Participants must attend an orientation on the day of the event, to learn the procedures and to test their connection. It's a really good idea, actually. We don't want to have another live letter fiasco like we did that one time. There will be around 40 people participating in this Zoom call with Yoshida, so he's gonna be like a 40-man raid boss. To submit a question, you have to use the submission form that is linked on this site, and I will put a link to this site in the description box down below so you can get to the submission form because they will not accept entries from any other source. Guess that means I need to recall my owl that I sent with my butt slider question. You will need to provide your character name, your home world name, your nickname that you'll be referred to as during the event, and your question. For Naoki Yoshida, maximum of 200 characters. Not a lot. Let's see if I can fit my questions into the character limit. Let's see. Two, goo, boos, heart. Yeah, we're well under the limit. So they're gonna read the questions and pick the people who ask the best questions, or most likely they're gonna pick people who ask the most pointless questions as usual. If you got selected, you will find out by Wednesday, May 12th, 2021 from the email that's registered to your Square Enix account. So double check your email on Square Enix account management to be sure that they are gonna send you the email to the right account and you'll be able to see it. You must ask the exact same question that you submitted via the submission form. They will not accept a different question or any additional questions. So no, you cannot write a normal question on your form that's like, when are we getting more glamour dresser slots? And then get up there and be like, if a gooboo holds in his sneeze, will he pop? <laughs> will he go kaboom? <laughs> or ask if it's an out of season April Fool's joke that he didn't announce the male bunnies yet. Really though, is it? Is it? 
you have to figure out Zoom for this event. You need to download it and you need to get it working and you need to have a working video camera that will show your face. And you have to have the camera on for the entirety of the event. It makes sense. It's supposed to be a live Q&A. We're supposed to feel like we are actually uh, having a face-to-face -face chat. Though, I mean, you could think about maybe some creative Zoom backgrounds to use. You are the only one allowed to participate if you're picked. You can't bring in all your buddies to all crowd in on the camera. Do not share the URL you get if you are selected. Can't give your spot to somebody else. You can't join or leave while the event's taking place unless you have an emergency. You cannot record any audio or video while participating in the event. Make sure your internet is stable. Easier said than done. <laughs> you are responsible for all charges associated with the internet connection and fees for the Zoom account. They might not get to your question, depending on the time available, and images or videos from the live Q&A might be posted later on social media. Square Enix, in its sole discretion, may remove any person from the event if they are being inappropriate. So, uh, we you know, use common sense is all basic rules, but this is a super exciting opportunity, and I feel like you might have a better chance at your question being selected if you don't ask a question that a million people are definitely going to ask. So as much as I want to ask everyone who's watching this to ask about butt sliders, I think that's not going to be smart because first of all, he's already answered questions about butt sliders many times in the past and they're just, it's, it's unlikely. And it's better if you can ask something that you're genuinely curious about. Like, I mean, did that paladin guy really land on the moon or was it like, to CGI. Probably a lot of people will be asking about Xbox support, but why not ask about VR support? I mean, <laughs> use your imagination here. If you want to get some second opinions about the question you're thinking about asking, or maybe just check to see if it's a question that's already been answered by Yoshida in either a past fan fest or in one of the millions of interviews that he has done, feel free to join my community Discord, uh, discord.gg slash cephalhq. We have plenty of people who are like in possession of a wealth of knowledge on pretty much everything Yoshida has been interviewed on and we'll be happy to sort of double check with you on that. You could also just leave the question you're thinking about asking here in the comments section for this video to get input from other buns who are watching this video or maybe to spread your question like I don't know maybe if a ton of people ask the same question and it will increase the chances of it being accepted. I'm not sure about that. I don't know how they're gonna go about it but Whatever it is that's on your mind, now is a very short window of opportunity for you to ask. Do keep an eye on the Digital Fan Fest website because constantly uh, new stage events and things are being posted there that we can all look forward to that's gonna happen at Digital Fan Fest. So yeah, I'm super, super excited. I can't wait for it to get here. That's really all for today. I just really wanted to get the word out about this uh, Q&A opportunity and hopefully you get to see some buns there in the Zoom call at FanFest. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of life who really got a good question to ask. Yoshida, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.